Now to a CNBC TV 18 analysis. Revenue headroom for the government ahead of the budget to balance fiscal consolidation with growth measures. Sources say North Block has a revenue cushion of at least 1 lakh crore rupees. Sapna Das is here with all of those details. Sapna, you know, how has the government managed to find this headroom? Well, as per our own calculations, it indicates that probably they are already sitting on a 1 lakh crore worth of fiscal cushion just ahead of the budget. So if you look at the top numbers, for example, direct taxes, they have grown by over to, uh, close to 21% in the first quarter. And our own calibrations indicate that probably around 25 to 30 odd thousand crores worth of cushion is over there. The numbers are significantly higher than the growth rate actually required to meet this year's target that was set out in the interim budget, that's one. Second, even in GST, in terms of GST collections, well, the uh, first quarter uh, monthly average is now around 1.9 lakh crore, which is significantly higher than what ha it has been in the earlier months, and why and why, of course, uh, the increase is much more. Uh, we are not really factoring that in, so to speak, because the last part of that also goes to the uh, state government check exchequer. But uh, this is an indication of things to come. You know, in H2, once the economy picks up, these numbers are only likely to get better. Third, of course, you have the RBI dividend, and none other than the finance secretary had uh, indicated very clearly or told CNBC that around 0.2 to 0.3% higher is what they have got from the RBI bonanza. So that, you know, roughly works out to somewhere around 60 or 1,000 crores to 88 or 1,000 crores. Now, these are not small numbers that we are talking, uh, talking about. So for a change, after a long time, you know, the government is looking fiscally confident and comfortable as it goes into the full budget pre uh, preparation. So basically, the option before the government is likely to be that they might do a bit of fiscal consolidation along with some welfare measures. In terms of reducing the deficit, well, if they choose to reduce it by around 0.1 to 0.2 odd percent, you know, this will lower the market borrowings by around 60 odd thousand crores. So that's one option for them. The second, of course, as I just mentioned, a combination of both. So they may reduce the deficit, bring it to around 5 odd percent, lose around 30 odd thousand crores. Uh, over, you know, over there in terms of the fiscal cushion, so to speak. Uh, but at the same time, uh, also take up some welfare measures. For instance, whatever are the ongoing central sector schemes, uh, all of them are likely to get due attention. Uh, but there could be some higher capex, say, for example, roads and railways. Though, of course, capex overall, there's an opinion that it is likely to plateau, so not much of action there. But certain sectors may still continue to get that focus, which the central government has been trying so hard. Uh, similarly, in terms of rural development, you know, important ministries like education, health, uh, maybe something for the housing and the solar sector, uh, you know, those schemes are already in place. Something additional ca can come over there. And also, let's not forget on the tax front, hope is still alive. You know, we can expect some kind of tweak at least as far as the new direct tax uh, regime is concerned. So putting all of this together, they'll have to do a you know, hard balancing act. And plus, most important, probably the most important takeaway from the budget to watch out is what kind of financial assistance the central government is able to provide to Andhra Pradesh in particular, and maybe to Bihar to an extent. You know, the opinion is very clear out there in the market that both these states are facing structural issues in the economy. They are unable to augment their revenues, and their state expenses are far too high. So the centre has to step in, and that interim uh, uh, relief is going to be a big ticket number in the budget. So these are the things that we need to watch out for. So despite that additional fiscal headspace that we're talking about, uh, you know, the list here is pretty... It's pretty long and large. Uh, however, in all likelihood, consolidation along with welfareism is what Nirmala Sitaraman may adopt on 23rd July. All right, Sapna, many thanks for those details. But moving on, Haryana 